guys find me? We're headed east. Short window, low pressure. Can you show us the old ways? East. I knew this day would come. This is Wes Kreiger reporting the Greasy conditions for 4.30 p.m. Monday, December 11, 2023. It is currently cloudy and the temperature is 29 degrees. We plan to restart making the snow at 5 p.m. tonight, and we will continue to make snow as long as temperatures permit. I am a snowmaker, and I started in the mid to late 70s when I was in high school. Uh, I worked the, the evening shifts. Um, Snowmaking back then was pretty difficult. Upstate New York um, is obviously on the ice coast. So we'll get a nice cold window and then rain for the next three days and then we have to get right back after it. The shift usually starts for snowmaking 7 a.m. the morning shift comes in. We talk with the previous shift. We, we go through the pump house, we make sure everything is working. Get together in groups of two and we'll go out there and check trails and make sure everything is looking good. I think we're always super ambitious at the beginning of the ski season. We had a few cold nights, we decided just to go for it. So we focused on one trail, top to bottom, put some serious firepower out, and we were able to get open as fast as we ever did. On our mountain here, there's probably 20 to 25 miles of buried pipeline. When you mix 480 volts with water and 450 to 500 pounds pressure, what could go wrong? Frozen pipes, brakes, pump house failures, all that stuff. Throws a wrench in the mix, but you adapt and overcome. I grew up snowboarding my whole life. Always had an interest in snowmaking. I remember when I was 12 years old, I made my own uh, home snow gun. I started as a lift operator. Had a little taste of snowmaking and loved it. Worked my way up through foreman, now snowmaking manager. So I've worked for Greek Peak now for 12 years. My first three years of snowmaking were under the radar. I uh, took an interest to it, so I'd actually sneak out on the mountain in the middle of the night and make snow with the third shift guys, uh, just because I wanted to fully understand how the process worked. As I've grown and changed my roles for Greek Peak to my current role, and now I'm kind of overseeing the five-year expansion of our snowmaking system. We're really snow farmers here at Creek Peak. At the end of the day, you get to see what you've done. Uh, it's very gratifying. You started off making snow on a, a bare grass trail, and if it's a good night, you, you got a blanket of snow everywhere and a canvas to work with the next day for skiing. This is the only job I've ever worked where it's once you get it in your blood, you kind of, you're hooked. No, this is this is kind of a one-of-a-kind thing. It's it's really it's it's a good time actually. I, that's why I keep coming back. 